So right up here, we have two um, eight-gallon LP tanks. Mm -hmm. So with these guys, you have your two shut off, your shut off valves on the top. Uh, mm -hmm. Just turn it off and on there. This is our LP gas regulator. So this regulates how much pressure uh, the, the gas is actually put into the unit. Mm -hmm. uh, you won't have to mess with that. It's already been adjusted properly for this coach. Mm -hmm. The only thing you'll ever maybe mess with is this little black lever here. Mm -hmm. And all that does is let you choose which tank you primarily draw from. Mm -hmm. So when you do a refill, you have to, you have to uh, take it out? or? Yeah, so what's going to happen is you come here and you'll shut these guys off, mm -hmm. turn the valves. Uh, both of them at the same is time. Is this empty right now? They're full. They're, okay. they're full. Yeah, they're both filled up for you guys. Okay. Um, yeah, so shut the valves off and then just uh, okay. take those off and unscrew this. And they'll, they'll oh, so this off. is always oh, okay. the two, always like when we. How do we know if it's empty? Like, uh, is it like well emptied both at the same time? So, what will happen is uh, with this guy over here, it's going to draw from this tank first. And then as soon as this one's empty, it'll yeah. automatically switch over to this. Oh, so it's right here. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, okay. So okay. You, you won't have to come, like, change anything. It'll do it yeah. itself. Unfortunately, mm. there's no indicator to show so like, that was, what it's the almost level empty. Of the tank oh. is. Yeah, when it's empty, you're just going to kind of have to come and... So that means if we... Okay, so automatic, it will replace to this one, where this one is empty. So is there a way, like, for example, we're going to buy... Uh, refill this or we have to wait yeah, yeah. so no you uh, what Just you take, can do is as soon as one runs out you can take, take it, it out and go get it okay, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. we don't, don't have, have to wait in the last nope. minute yeah, yeah because nope. yeah especially when out uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's awesome you can so take, where's the the up and under, there's an arrow. Yeah. yeah, so it's just um, it's just the regular thing. Yeah, counterclockwise. Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah. Clockwise to close. Uh, this is yeah. the main one. The main. Yes. So this just lets you uh, decide which tank you want to use. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. It, other than that, it doesn't do anything. Okay. So if there's this uh, right here going uh, this way. So this. it's going to use this tank first, and then when this one's empty, it'll go to this. If it was like this, then this one first. This one first. Oh, then I see. It's like pointing to yeah, that side. Exactly. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's just think of that as the arrow pointing to the tank. And what is this, though? So these are your two Group 24 batteries. They're the same exact battery in each one. Um, but these are going to be your main source of all your 12-volt power, which is going to be most of the things in the, in the unit are mm -hmm. going to get your power from your batteries here. And mm -hmm. these guys will charge when you're hooked up to your vehicle, mm -hmm. dro like driving or whatever, and then when you're plugged in. Plug into electricity? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Everything. Okay. So that's so, how you charge these. Um, sorry, what? Yeah. How long will we charge this one if we, you no, know? We'll just charge it when you charge? connect it to oh, okay. uh, electricity mm -hmm. so or we're running. Most of the time, they're always going to be charged. They're always yeah. going to be charged, pretty much. And there's a thing inside that will show you where your batteries are. At. So you can you can see how low your batteries are getting. Yeah, how about well, like winter time, like we are not using this, pretty much just parking in um, our driveway, so uh, uh, you have to charge, yeah. plug no. it in to run you the battery? You can if you want. Um, to run the battery? All that's going to happen is um, if you leave it unplugged and it's just sitting, these are just going to die. Yeah. Oh, right. That, yeah. That's so. it, and then you just plug it back in and they'll charge it back up. Back it's up, not, yeah. Oh, okay. It, yeah. No, it's well, not yeah. like a... It's not a main thing, though. It's like the car that you need to... Yeah. Exactly. If they die, just charge them back. Yeah. They're fine. So this way right here is connected to the vehicle. Yeah, so this is your uh, your main leveling jack. So this is the thing that's really going to do all your lifting on the trailer mm -hmm. uh, to get it up on your vehicle uh, to level it out. This is your uh, your main thing here, uh, mm -hmm. and when he hitches you, uh, puts your vehicle up, he'll go over all this with you. Okay. All the, all the chains and stuff. So. What is this then? That's a uh, that's just a pin that holds the uh, the foot in. Oh so yeah. Oh, basically, this is just a pull. Otherwise, mm -hmm. and then you put the foot on. Well, yeah, you have to, yeah. So okay. okay. So do we have that thing that this one? Will, you know. This. Is this. So this one on. Uh, up and down. Oh, yeah. oh this one right yeah, here. Yeah, it'll crank up. So when it's on your vehicle, you'll be able to raise that up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Over here is just a uh, just a storage compartment which goes all the way through. Mm -hmm. um, this tool right here mm -hmm. is the tool uh, for your, your stabilizer jacks here. So this guy is just to crank these down. Oh, I see. 
you have like to, to all the way to the ground. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. Okay, to yeah. Same thing on the other side, right? Exactly. There's four jacks total. So one here, one on the other side, and then the two in the back. In the back. Um, okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and yeah. these guys are just for stabilizing. They're not to like lift the trailer up or anything. It's just to get them on the ground, ground. get them snug, and yeah. Yeah. keep it from rocking. Yeah. Okay. So not. Do not use these to like lift it up to say like change a tire. Yeah, yeah. No, they're not. Yes. They're, they're not, not for meant. changing tire. Yeah, that's your uh, your front jack up there is. Uh, that's the one that will lift. Yeah, that's a lot yeah. more. That's meant to lift the weight of the trailer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And what is this? Uh? So that's just a little clip uh, to hold this guy. Oh, uh, okay, it's for the hook. Oh, okay. <clears throat> We have a key to lock that one, right? Correct. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it might even be the same key as your door key. Door key? I'm not sure I'd have to look at the, mm -hmm. the key ring, but yeah, you'll have all your, your keys should be in there. So, right here is just a little outdoor shower. It's basically just two valves and a little shower head. We mm -hmm. can open that up. There's a the key if you'd like. heater. Uh, also, for the shower, like hot shower? Yeah, yeah, hot water, cold water. Um, so, anything you need to spray off or whatever, you'll get both the hot and cold water out here. So, but that's all it is, it's just the shower in there. This is your city water. City water. Yeah, so this is where if you're uh, if you're at a park, you can get hose up here, mm -hmm. and that's going to get you all your water. Do you need inside. to have a special hose for the drinking water, or it's like a clean uh, all um, here? They're all, they're all the same. I would get a lead free hose. Lead free? Yeah, but that's the only type you have to worry about. Oh, okay. Lead free. Lead free hose. Yeah, basically, any white hose is going to be lead free. Oh, okay. So, so white, okay. Yeah, if it's white, it's more than likely. White, white hose, okay. But this is probably what you're going to use most of the time. I'm not sure if you plan to be at uh, most of like campsites mm -hmm. or just uh, dry camping or anything. But if, if there is water to hook up with a hose, this is where you're going to do it. And this will activate everything in the coat. Oh, okay. What is this layer? So black holding tank and gray water holding tank. Um, those are uh, basically when you use your sinks or you use your toilet, it drains into a hole. Oh, and, uh, in there. This is showing you where the uh, where the valves are for that. So mm -hmm. uh, when you you know you use your black tank, uh, which is connected to the toilet. So the toilet get, uh, only goes to the black tank. Your sink and your shower goes to the gray the water. Gray. Oh, okay. So. So yeah, it splits it off and it holds it in there. So if you are like dry camping where you don't have a place to constantly dump, mm -hmm. you can you can fill it up and then go somewhere and dump it. Later. So pretty much this is the tank right here. Um, this is the tank. The, yeah. So the the tank serves somewhere underneath. This underneath. is showing you the location of the valve. Like there's an uh, oh, okay. Uh, okay. So when, when these things get full and whatnot, uh, you're gonna go to dump station and pick your hose up to this. It's a, it's a sewer hose. Mm -hmm. That's a sewer hose? Correct. Yeah, so it all drains right, out of right one. So you hook your hose up to this and then you have your black tank valve right up here. Mm -hmm. um, for the black and yeah. it's for the gray. Correct. So oh, you pull these valves out and that's going to drain the tank out through here. Okay. Uh, and then to close, just push. Just push it back in, yep. Okay. Same thing with the gray one. Yeah, very easy to do, just like pull and push. When you, when you dump, you want to start with your black tank valve. So pull that one first, uh -huh. let that all drain out, and then go ahead and close that when it's done. Okay. And then you'll pull your gray water. That makes sense to wash it out, that the, the, the right. Yeah, any of the nasty right. in there, it'll, it'll help wash it out. Wash it out. be more water than uh -huh. So, oh yeah, that's right, because it's connected. Correct. Yeah. That makes sense. So, the, okay, this one, this one you pull it and all, this one, yeah. yeah. The black tank, yeah, I get, I get it. The same thing with, the same thing with that. Thing. Yeah. yeah, this is a, the rear stabilizer on this okay. side. There's another one on that side. So just the same. So we only have one. Yeah. What do you call that? Uh, just a rinse. Yeah. 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 So we have one that and then yeah. Correct. It, it works all the light. This guy got a small side light. Yeah, so this is a coax for like if um, if you have a portable satellite dish or like a like cable hookup on a on a park for like your TV, mm -hmm. uh, you hook it up here and everything inside will get those channels. So that's just the input for that. Mm -hmm.
option for me to play harder, but all I did was like I play football. This is where your uh, your main power cord is stored, your 30 amp uh, short cord. So basically, when you unplug this, you just uh, it just shoves back in there. Oh, you just shove it back? Oh, yeah, okay. and it just coils up and then uh, you just pull it out when you are ready you to use it. Just, it just uh, sits right in here. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, very simple. Um, every part is pretty much standard with standard the 30 size. amp, so you shouldn't yeah. really have to get any adapters or anything. Yeah. Uh, you should be pretty good with that. Yeah, the, the license plate right here. Uh, oh, okay, and the one over there is yours. Oh, yeah, okay. so that's license where you mount your license plate for. And this is? Your water, your hot water heater. Hot water. water. So. Oh, okay. This is an LP gas water heater, so basically it's, it's going to run off the LP tanks. Oh. Um, so that means you can always use it as long as there's gas in the tanks. It's really nice. Um, mm. Some things, uh, mm. like the air conditioning in this unit, you can only use it when you're plugged in. It runs off the, the 110 power, so the batteries alone aren't going to run the AC or like the microwave or something. So having this run off LP only is really nice. You can always use it. Um, for, for the hot water, right? You said? Yes, okay. hot water. This, this guy's your hot water, so... You connect it from here? Or? No, that's not no, you, from uh, there. You just automatic. You know, the, uh, the switch is inside. You don't have to do anything out here. Okay. Okay. Other than this plug right here, uh, that guy comes out to drain the water heater and the only time you need to to basically remove that to drain it is when you are winterizing okay. so uh, and i'll go over that process inside as well okay. um, but yeah this is the only thing you're going to have to do out here okay we don't want to touch anything there no nope. besides something that if we would we want to drain, drain it, water yes. yeah so that just comes out and it drains the, the little yeah. water tank that's back in there okay. so yeah, everything else is really just for maintenance. Maintenance, yeah, for a professional. Exactly. So, uh, like, if you uh, you were having a problem, this is where I would come to work. So, this is just another storage compartment. This guy covers up the back of that water heater, mm -hmm. wow. so that's just what that is. Mm -hmm. um, but there's also access to this from under the the bottom bunk bed, so that's what that's mm -hmm. what we're underneath right now is the bottom bunk. Uh -huh. <coughs> oh, and this is for the um, yeah. your electric on. Right? Mm -hmm. This is uh, basically the back of your refrigerator. Oh, okay. oh I see. Mm -hmm. So um, again, this is really just for maintenance. There is maintenance. there's nothing you guys have to do back here. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do want to come look out here, uh, this is where like if your refrigerator's on LP, you'll see the flame in there. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, that's really all is there that, is. The, what the for the stove or refrigerator? The refrigerator. refrigerator. Okay. Yes. And this one stays open. Or uh, you closed? can close it if you want. It doesn't matter. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, it's just to look in there and see if the flame is actually lit or not. Mm -hmm. Flame? Yeah, so um, your, your refrigerator runs off both the LP gas and electric. Oh. So you have two options. If it runs off the LP gas, anything that, like, so you, like your water heater, um, when that is on, uh, when that is on, there will be a little flame in here. Oh, okay. Uh, so we don't freak out if we see that. No. Okay. The fire is normal in this tube as long as it is in the tube. Okay. That's fine. There's going to be a little flame in there. That's what heats the water heater. And so, same thing in that little silver tube there in that little hole. Uh, there's going to be a tiny little flame there. That's what is okay. cooling off the, uh, the refrigerator. So is this both like gas or electric? Yeah. The refrigerator is both gas and electric. Yeah. This is the uh, exhaust for your furnace. So mm -hmm. when your heater's on, there's going to be hot air coming out of hot here. Air and yeah. Yeah. So just Probably keep anything like away from away from that. Okay. So that can you don't want it to get yeah. kind of melted or whatnot. Mm -hmm. no. uh, it doesn't go very far. I mean, just like a foot, but just something. Yeah. To note okay. Of. Little outdoor outlet here for anything you want to plug in outside. Mm -hmm. This is your fresh water tank fill. So fresh water. You have three total tanks in this unit. Uh, you have a fresh water tank which holds just fresh water, drinking water, clean water, to use like it. Say you fill up in town and then you go somewhere that doesn't have a connection for you to hook up to your hose. Mm -hmm. um, you have fresh water in your fresh water tank. You can use your water pump to get that water. So you can run your toilet, run your sinks, everything like normal. 
without mm -hmm. being actually hooked up to a hose. So that's what this is for. You fill your fresh water tank through here, and just put your clean hose in, it's gonna start filling. Water is gonna pour out of the tube somewhere underneath. Oh no, it's right here, sorry. So water is gonna start coming out of here when it's full. When it's full, mm -hmm. yeah. then it will stop. Then you it's just full. turn the water off and put the cap back on. Okay. And, uh, and that's it, so. I saw the hood up. What is it, like white thing right here? So that is to drain the fresh water tank. So oh. you have water oh, what, in there, you want to get it like, out. What do you mean, like the fresh water, you just, you, it's more like, like a storage thing or? Uh... Yeah, yeah, so it's basically a storage tank for you to draw from for later if you need fresh water and ah, you don't okay. have okay. a hose hooked up. Ah, okay, yeah. just for the hold up for, okay. Exactly. Yeah. To save, and, save water, you know, if you And then if, if you, uh... it's like, you know, then we can just rip, rip, uh, rip a, a fresh water and we yeah. just have to drain the old water here. Right. There is a white mm -hmm. bulb. There. Oh, okay. Yeah, so say you're somewhere that doesn't have a place for you to hook up to your city water connection over there yeah. to get water, then you would fill this up yeah. and be able to still use all your water. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What is that here? It's the hole so, for that? Yeah, this door. guy is just a little oh, to door yeah. stop and I, I bet stopper. <laughs> yeah, so it's a, it's a stopper and a holder for the oh, door. I see. Yeah, this guy it's is still, uh, connected still. to the other oh, one. Okay. Correct, yeah, this yeah. is just our other side there. Mm -hmm. so. And same thing. Mm -hmm. same, same exact jack, same tool. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so that's okay. kind of it for the outside. Yeah. Uh, I know it seemed quick, but there's a lot more going on inside. Okay. inside yeah. Are sure. there any questions though? So this one here, every, every two years, uh, you put cuckling here like that every two years? or. Um, oh, it just so, depends. It's so just... this is um, this is a, a type of putty that's used. Yeah. So you uh, you don't have to seal this unless you see. Just see, say something. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah. It's something that you need really need to, you know. Okay. Exactly. And I heard, I believe I heard you mention inside you're gonna buy a cover for this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I definitely recommend using that. Yeah. Whenever you're not using it, it'll yeah. protect it. Winter is coming. Yeah, yeah winter, uh, the the rain will start rain. to kind of wear the seals in the yeah. sun. Yeah, the, the sun does a lot of damage to the, so the seals. So, for the example, roof. like this one, it will come up, start to come up, and then we have to come back here. And this no, we can do it. So, um, if it is something that you guys want to handle, it's very simple. Simple. You uh, you pop this middle piece out, here, and there's just a bunch of screws holding this on. You pull the screws off. Uh, we sell it here, it's called putty tape. You just run a, a strip of putty tape down this and screw it back on. And that's how the, the corners get to it. So, that is, the corners are something that you can do yourself. You don't have to bring it back here to do it. Okay. Yeah. Anything that's like lighter, you know, that you can handle, you can handle Yeah, so like stuff like this, if this starts to split, just some yeah. silicone over that, you can yeah. 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 bring it out here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, there's a lot of stuff on this you can do yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything with the appliances, though, I do, you should bring it in, just have some a professional. Professional to do it, yeah, yeah instead of just doing our own. Yeah, anything with electricity, unless you are comfortable yeah. with it, it's uh, just a safety issue. Should be the professional will do it. We don't want an electric uh, shop. The Eagles can step exactly. up there. They got all these different lineups, you know. Um, yeah. Anything else on the outside, um, folks? Or? No. Yeah, it was white. So how do you uh, this one? Uh, the steps here. Yeah, you just. So this. Uh, this oh, guy's okay. Just fold right that. there. Then you just pull. Yeah. So okay. unfold there, and then just one. lift up on oh. that, and it's yeah. all gonna okay. go in. Then so, the same thing. You okay? Yeah, your handle, and then fold it down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's it for the steps. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We don't have anything after we fold it. We don't. We don't nope. have to tie it up. They're designed to it. stay in there. It will, oh. It's stable. It will not. I've never seen it happen. Okay. <laughs> it will like a. Sh yeah, yeah. No, I've oh. never seen it happen. You, cer you certainly can add something if you'd like, but. Or, yeah. I'm thinking of tying a rope. Yeah, like you know, wrapping like it or wrapping something. With rope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think it's okay outside. It will. Gonna, yeah. yeah. Right down here we have fire extinguisher, okay. obviously. Uh, 
And this guy right here is another safety feature. It's your carbon monoxide and uh, propane gas detector. Okay. So if you have a leak of either of those two somewhere, mm. um, this guy will start beeping really crazy and just let you know that. Mm. Oh, okay. So that's all it is, basically like a, a different kind of smoke alarm almost for dip for gas. When that one is hot, it's hot and what we're gonna do? Like with um, so if the, it is beeping, um, is there any way that we can reset the alarm? Or? All right. Because it might so, break out the neighborhood too. So yeah, this uh, if this guy right here is uh, blinking this uh, this red light, mm -hmm. that means it's a propane gas leak. So go up to up, go up front and shut your tanks off. If it's carbon monoxide, if it senses that, you need to you need to leave the trailer. Leave the trailer. Yeah. So. Red light, go shut your tanks off. That'll shut off the LP gas, and then um, basically shut up everything. Yeah, and basically from there, if that's what is happening, you have an LP gas leak. You'll uh, open up all the windows, everything, everything. Obviously, make sure any fire hazards are clear. You don't want a spark to set off that that gas, mm -hmm. and then just kind of go through and like mm -hmm. soapy water spray each thing mm -hmm. to find where that leak is coming so from. that's the only one for extinguisher in this correct yeah, yeah. yes this so. is the, this is your one for this whole unit okay, um, okay. There's, there's not another we're gonna one. bring one with us like a small red you can always if you yeah. want yeah. to yeah. that's oh, totally yeah. up to you yeah. but okay. th this is the one that they give you for this unit yeah. oh okay um so, all right we'll go right here Mm -hmm. So this is your monitor panel. This is what's going to show you the levels of your the water in your tanks and uh, the level of your batteries. Mm -hmm. So right now batteries are full. Okay. Uh, it's going to say full whenever we're plugged in. If we mm -hmm. were to unplug right now, mm -hmm. it would drop down to two thirds, and that is totally normal. Yeah. Fresh water. We are full on the fresh water. We typically do that in case somebody. Um, you know, wants to go camping right from here, so they have water in their fresh water holding tank, which is that thing you fill up with the, mm. the guy on this side, black tank, and your gray tank. So definitely keep an eye on those. I recommend checking your levels um, as often as possible as you're using it, just because you don't want to, you know, be using your sink and then all of a sudden water's coming out and you're like, shoot, I didn't know that we were full, because mm. the tanks will fill up. Oh, eventually yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah so when it when it gets up to full it's not it's not fully full they designed to stop it so um, there you don't have to worry about issues of overfilling on accident uh, so definitely stop when it's at full but if you were to keep going uh, say with the toilet you were to keep using your toilet mm -hmm. eventually that water would come up out of the toilet what is this CGFL um, or is this a code name yeah I think it's a uh, it's different codes for the uh, oh, okay. for something else. I I don't know what they uh, okay. what they mean. Oh, C G. Oh no, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. I can find yeah. out for you if it's you want. It's probably it's in manual also. Manual, also. Manual, manual, yeah. Um, so the owning thing is the one right there, the switch. Like yeah. That is cool. Yeah. So this is kind of like your main thing. These are uh, these buttons here. It's going to show you all your levels of stuff. Mm -hmm. This is going to activate your hot water heater. So. Turn that guy on. Your water heater is gonna light. Um, I don't know if you can hear oh, that. But yeah, it, I heard it's it. Lit yeah. Now that's the flame. So mm, uh, I see. This light right here. So that the flame is gonna when it reaches its temperature, it's gonna heat that water until it reaches the temperature, and then it's gonna shut itself off. Mm, okay. That is normal. That flame will go away for a while, and then when you use the hot water, it'll kick back on again. Okay, so heater, we, we use it for the sink and the sink, shower, shower, anything that anything we use for Anything that needs hot water, yeah. you got to turn your hot water heater on. Okay, and then pump is... Yeah, so the water pump, that'll take any water out of your fresh tank and let you use it through like your sink or anything. So, so if we, yeah, oh, I see. So it's going to run like that until it pressurizes the system. So right now it's off, everything's pressurized. Um, so. It's going to be quiet like that, and then we can go run our water, and it's going to come on, and then shut off. Mm -hmm. So okay. that's basically your pump. Uh, it just is a different way to get you your water. Okay, so mm -hmm. right now it is full of water there? Correct. Yeah. Okay, yeah. everything is full. Okay, Correct. so that ready to go? Yes. Okay. Uh, your slide out button here, just uh, in and out, very simple. Um, on the police okay. one here? Yes, mm -hmm. it is the only slide in the coach. Um, so that's your only button you have to worry about here. Uh, okay. um, when you're bringing it in, 
make sure that like there's nothing on the floor because it'll get under there and it can rip your floor. Yeah. And also, same thing when you're going out, you know, uh, if possible, have someone outside spotting for you so you don't hit anything. Mm -hmm. It can damage the slide pretty bad. You definitely want to avoid that. So mm -hmm. just kind of be aware of your clearance with uh, Oh, with yeah, we, when you slide out, we sort of just nothing there. It's all clear. Exactly. Just make sure it's clear because mm -hmm. it, it's strong. It'll crush yeah, anything crush in the way or or rip up your floor if there's like a screw or something. Okay, uh, so this two switches there, is that both for the whole thing or? Uh, so so this switch right here is only the slide out and this is your awning. So uh, okay, the awning and the slide yeah, out. Uh, so okay. this is a, right here, this is our power awning. Uh, so awning. that guy's going out by itself. You don't have to oh, go out. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. You don't have uh, to go outside and do it. It's all right here. Oh, nice. I just switch, uh, okay. Yeah, so just this switch, just hold it down. To get it to go whichever way you want. Okay. Uh, so if this one, if we slide it, how far is that one? Will? So on I think here. it's going to come to about right here is where oh, it'll right stop. Um, oh, I see. And it does automatically stop itself both going out and in, so you don't have uh, to worry about like accidentally messing anything up. It will mm -hmm. stop. Um, this one is that heater, the temperature. Yes. So this is your. Uh, this is your thermostat for just your furnace. Um, the AC is controlled uh, by the ceiling the controls ceiling. furnace over here. Uh, so, so it has its own controller and ceiling there. Yeah, so uh, with uh, with this guy, it's basically just you have your uh, your temperature control dial here. Uh, and then what you want it to do, it has high cool, low cool, low fan, high fan. Uh, so just uh, whatever setting you want with that. The furnace only has uh, an on off. On the knob switch. Yeah, so uh -huh. to the left is on, on then to the right is off. off. So okay. to, to get it to go on, turn it on, and then you have to set your temperature. Okay. You'll hear the click, and then the furnace oh, is going. Oh. So it's kind of hot. And the, For the heater? Yes, this is your heater right heater. here. Okay. There was Air conditioner Air right there on the ceiling. Oh, okay. So, so how about your um, the fan the and fan, the yes. shower? So, with the fan here, yeah, this guy right here is just your light switch the for the light. Oh, that one in there. Oh. And then the fan, you have uh, the crank here to get it to go up, and then the button to just oh. activate the fan. Oh, okay. So, okay, there's right there. Yeah. And you can run that with the thing closed or open, it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, I see. Your toilet here, uh, the, the flush is down on the bottom. Okay. So with your foot there. Mm -hmm. And then you can... Um, Barely pushing it will let water go in. So if you want to fill it up first, you can do that, and then all the way down is going to open. It. So oh, okay. okay. That makes sense, though. Yeah. For the bathroom light here, uh, this one you do have to oh, push it's yourself. Right there. Oh, that. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's a push, oh, nice. push like button that. for this. Mm -hmm. This is your uh, your main GFCI controller outlet for the coach. Mm -hmm. So basically, any outlet that is around water is going to be tied into this one. The, the outlets are kind of on a separate uh, wiring system for mm -hmm. a safety thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if there's a short, something happens, it pops Pop right the here. Reset. Oh, okay. reset button. Yeah. So to reset it, if if it's ever like that, this outlet, the outlet by your uh, your kitchen sink, and the outside outlet are not going to work. So come here oh, the main press that yeah. and it'll all work nice again safe. it's, it's oh. a safety thing mm -hmm. so. oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. oh, so there is no lock oh, oh, there, just in the front yeah. in, the, in the back yeah mm -hmm. okay do you have the pin or the key for that pin for your hitch oh uh, yeah it's in uh the yeah. pen? Pen? Yeah. It's in the, is it in the middle compartment? Oh, what pen? The pen for... Uh, the key for the hitch pin. Oh, the hitch pin? Yeah. It's in the key. It's in there too. Okay. Everything's the in there. Key? The car key? Yeah, it's it in the car key. The key ring? Yeah, key, key ring, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So this hole right here is... That is, uh, yeah, so this is a... Anything on the floor is going to be a front or, or like these guys are going to be your, your heater. Mm. Uh, so this one, that guy right over there, mm -hmm. and then the one in the bedroom. I think there's one under here. Oh, okay. yeah. um, that's this, this is where is the this is where the furnace is. The, it's behind that. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I just you. All the cabinets. Yeah, just 
cabinets here for storage. Yeah. And this one is that guy yeah. is your uh, your main fuse and breaker pan. So uh, if you're ever having any electrical issues in the coach, this is the first place you'll want to check. You have uh, your main AC breakers here. Uh, this guy shuts off your 30 amp power coming into the coach, so any shore power will be up, shut off. They are labeled um, mm -hmm. breakers right here, fuses up here. Mm -hmm. So they all shut off uh, different things, air conditioner, microwave, converter. Mm -hmm. And then your fuses here are all for different things like your lights. If, if the thing goes up, you can always you can always buy a different uh, fuse. In Correct. The fuse, and I yeah. do recommend, these are just standard automotive fuses. You can get oh, little oh. assorted cases of them. Oh, okay. And I recommend just carrying a little case with you in case one does blow. I uh, just replace yeah, just it really replace quick. It. Yeah, these, mm. yeah. yeah, just pull out and push it back push in. Back, yeah. Standard fuse. Yeah. So, Again, any electrical issues you're having, lights aren't working, whatnot, check this first. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this one is the oven right here. Yeah, okay. so this is your oven and stove. So the, uh, the stove top here to do this is, uh, so you turn your dial here to light, and light. Then this is your igniter dial. Oh, so I see. It's turning secret. that, yeah, this lets the LP come out, that sparks it, and then you get to set your temperature on your flame, like, Mm. How big you want the flame to get? This, the oven, it, you will have to manually light this. This doesn't have a like a, a dial like this. So basically, to do the oven, you'll turn it here to pilot, mm. and then you'll have to hold it down to actually let the gas come in. So mm -hmm. pilot and hold it down, mm -hmm. lets the gas enter, and then down here below in the back mm. is where you'll uh, you'll stick your lighter. Oh, the lighter. Yeah, oh, you put the lighter there. Yeah, like the holes, right? Oh, uh, holes. Yeah. yeah, a little stick lighter just back yeah. in there. Oh, I light. see. I light it up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. same thing with the you know, stove and then you... Exactly. Yeah, the uh, propane. Yeah, so this is the only thing on the coach you're going to need a, a lighter for. Everything else is... Uh, uh, it's okay. This is off. This one off? Yes. So it's got like that. Everything. Yeah, so... So it doesn't need to be straight? Um, no, no all, all the way, all the way up, off. Yeah. All the yeah. way. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I, I just look at the arrow. Yeah. Uh, I, it'd this be, one is it'd just be nice sparks. It, yeah, all yeah. that does is uh, sparks the three burners. The three burners. Three burners. Um, okay, and the fan, the lights. Here, yeah, we have our light and our fan okay. for those. Okay. Uh, the, the microwave is, I mean, it's just, okay, the, right. just the microwave. It's just the microwave. Yeah. Yeah. Um, our refrigerator here, oh. we have. This guy has two options, so it has an yeah. auto option and a gas option. So uh, when it's on auto, if, we're, is, if yeah. we're plugged in, it's going to default to electricity. Electricity. Oh, okay. electricity. Um, and then if for some reason you lost that electric connection, it would oh. switch itself to over gas. to gas, yes. and you don't risk losing your food like that. Everything's going to stay cold. Um, That's right. If you're just on the gas, then it is only going to run off gas. Yeah. Uh, I recommend that people keep it on auto. I oh, mean, yeah. There's right. really no reason not to. It's going to auto itself over. So, yeah. um, Save the gas. Yeah, one thing to know, 